Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Budburn Part 28 of the Chalice Dungeons. So, in the last video, you saw that we, that I could not, by, for the life of me, get past this one thing. The creature. Well, I have. Uh, I actually did it just a couple of minutes ago, actually. And, um... Which that means it, it was actually done like around 9.45 p.m. It was hilarious because um, I actually two-handed my weapon and right when he was actually at one-third of the um, of his health. This is when the centipede comes out of him and then he starts going crazy. He did go crazy. You know how the animation is when he jumps back and he starts shooting at you from a long distance? Well, he kind of, well, not kind of, he actually got stuck in the animation. He got stuck in this animation. He was right here in this location. He just kept jumping back and then sc scratching out here, like right where this area is at. As for me, I was in the very back, just swinging them left and right, and not letting up. Wait for a little bit, hit. Wait for a little bit, and hit. And same old, same old. And I managed to get him down. And in fact, we even got the item. Oops. Called the um. Let's see. This one right here. We have this item that we actually got. And unfortunately, anything with um, that of Laron item is actually a curse. So therefore, that means that it's going to knock our health down by half. Or even worse than that. So in the next uh, chalice layer, which is the same dungeon we're in right here of this one. We're going to be getting the sinister one, which we have to buy somewhere in that location. After that, I will take on these, which are the last ones of the fives. There's only three of them. You can only go through them one time. When you beat the second boss, you get the chalice item. When you go in the third layer, you buy the sinister one. And after that, that's it. You can't go into this, the sinister ones or the root ones because it is an updated item that you need to be updated on. Now, it says, well, you need to be online. Well, well technically, I am online. But since the online feature doesn't work on App Zero, that does mean that I cannot play these right here with the with the weird glowing image in the background. See, this one doesn't have the the eerie glowing image. This one does. See, it got brighter in the center. So that means all that's left to do is take care of these afterwards, and I am looking forward to those. Why? Because they're depth two and three, and I think depth four. That means they're going to be more easier. So we're going to switch back to our torch. And we're going to explore. So that's what happened. And yes, I did die about seven other times too. Because he was being cheap. And there was one time he actually got stuck in a charging... Um, what's it called? motion where he just charges right after you and he did that like three or four times in a row and you know how those things are difficult to dodge and they can actually kill you in one hit if you don't dodge it correctly or if you dodge it late it will take somewhat of health away from you which kind of sucks actually so this is the third level and you guessed that there's our door so where's the messenger bath it must be somewhere in that door. But before I do anything else, I am, however, going to... Light this. And you can hear these guys either working the graveyard shift again. I like to call them the miners. Because they're mining. Going to here, and I am going to... Select my shining coins. You know, the usual. Okay. 
And we're gonna go up the ladder. And in case you're wondering, the runes, I've actually changed my runes too, so... That means I actually healed every time that he actually, when I did a Vrissel attack on him. So I did actually two of them onto him, instead of just one. I had the up Vrissel attacks by 20% and boost HP by 10%. So really, I should be fighting these guys. You know what, I'm going to do that real quick. I am going to change my runes back. For more item discovery because I'd rather have um, a rare item pop up and I obtain it than not to obtain it at all. So bear with me. I'm going to go back to the Hunter's Dream and change my runes. And then after that we should be able to... Well, excuse me. To continue on. And then after that we should be able to finish this. Because I believe the boss in this one it is the... One of the bosses that you actually supposed to use to make contact gesture. So let's see. That one won't work for us. I'm gonna put back my resistance. To all types. And then as for this, I am going to have my eye rune. And same thing with this. So now that's all. In fact, adds all types of resistance 20%. Yeah. We'll take that. So yeah, as you can see, all that um, was on there because I've increased my resistance. So now we're going to jump back. This is going to be the last one of this chalice. And all that we le left was the... The one that looks like a hat, but it's not a hat. At least by the small image. I mean, I can blow it up real quick. Once the game finished loading up. And then afterwards, we'll be able to move on. <laughs> Sorry for all the yawning. Actually, I have to go find myself something to eat after the end of this video. Let's see. We are... Oh yeah, I can change this. Keep that the way it is, and then we're good. We just gotta go back and go through that door. Now that we have our item discovery runes back up. Let's see what other stuff we can find. Open the door. Prepare for another adventure. Apparently there's a ladder here. It's dark. There they are. We're going to talk to them for a bit. I'm buying my two coins. The reason why I kept that like that is because I can just buy them. I mean, I can just take them out of my storage. The item that we came here for is this. Yeah. So this is the sinister one. And that is pretty pricey, but that's okay with us. So other than that, there's nothing there except for other items here. And yeah, in case we're in a bind, we can just buy them from here. Which means we can be as sloppy as we want. Just make sure those things right here. Yeah, we can't buy them. Oh, definitely take that currency item. Another currency item, that's good. Well, we just need to defeat the boss, and then we can get to carry on. 
You've seen those things there for a while. You know that there's a trigger somewhere here. So we're gonna go over here. Cause there it is right there. Only half of the, the plate. Yeah, he don't want to come forward because he knows the trap's there too. You're moving it somewhere else. So he's not moving forward. Once I step out here, then he moves forward. But look, see, even if he does move forward, those things won't trigger it. So I'm gonna go over here, and I'm going to destroy them. Okay, so... Like I said, we can be as sloppy as we want. Because we got the blood vials. Shop right there. I'll take that. Ah, so there's more. This is why I had the item discovery rune. Oh, nothing there to hurt me. Come over here, drop a coin. Long room. We know the drill. Look for any doorways. Ow. Yeah, why are you thinking me now, buddy? That's right, I forgot. You can't think because you're down on the ground. Scorpions. Door. And an item. Silver bullets. Great one cold blood. That is a very, very good soul current or blood currency item. In fact, it's the up oh, next one up. Rather containing the blood of the great ones, used to gain cosmically nightmarish blood echoes, like the revelations. I think that's what it's called. This uncanny relic defies understanding. Aha! So, in other words. We do not understand. Okay, so we got one door. Let's check the rest. Let's see if there's other doors. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it was just this one right here. Let's look out here, actually. Let's see if there's any... Baddies here, we can knock off to the ground there. Well, apparently, someone's shooting at us already. Mm, well, we're doing pretty good so far. I mean, we're not finding any other items here. It should be, yeah. This is our original door that we came out of. Remember, we have two places to go. We decided to stay up on top of the ladder. So, moving on over here, we shouldn't find any doors except for the silver bullets over here. And then... Traveling over here. There's a door right there, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that. So that way, you say there's another door. There's this item right here. And no other door here.
except for the original doorway right there so it looks like we're just going straight across of course you can look down here to see what creepy crawlies you have to deal with oh look cause those things that call that cast I was gonna say cost cast meteor uh, in case you're wondering that's a Final Fantasy reference So we're going to go over here first. Oh. How rude. You must pay. Me. Oh, he missed. Drop a coin. Oh, he's like, no. Catch your standard dudes down there. Let's see, any other rooms for me to go in? Nope. Goodbye. Doesn't look like it. I could swear I heard a um, ringing. This one I heard ringing. Uh oh. Got Tubby over there. Think I can pull these guys. I think he knows. Oh no, he doesn't. do the rolling too man now he's stuck right there How did that hit me? Hitting through the walls. Need a heal. And they don't heal fast enough neither. Let's see. Where is this little crony?
I saw something. Let's make it interesting. Too bad. He's not gonna survive this. Yeah. How do you like that? I'll take that. Man. There we go. Break all these things. See, this is what they were hiding. Silver bullets. Great one cold blood. Yep, another soul currency item, which is actually really good. Now we just find... Some what's it called? We just need to find some blood files. Right after defiling this casket. Yellow backbone. Okay, so we came out of here. There's nothing up here. Nothing down in that center part. Uh, nothing here. Silver bullets there. So I'm gonna do this. There we go. Why? Because we went through this room already. Of course, you got the two items there. Oh, it's the treasure room. That was the main reason why we went there. I see nothing here. I hear something, but I don't see it. Yeah, it's probably you. What do you want, huh? What do you want? Oh, I didn't hear. Blood vials. I'll take what's remaining of it. Plus, let's not forget. Yeah. We can actually buy them. Along with these as well. Nothing else here. And I believe we got two of those um, really good currency items right there. So we're going to drop down or go down the ladder here. Mark our location. Let's see. Nothing here. There's a room there. And that is it. Time to travel. Oh, that was a good heart. Uh, good at heart. Good effort. Gotta be careful of this dude over here. It's coming towards us with the shotgun. Oh, it's like what? Uh, I'm turning around. I'm looking here. That, on the other hand, is something. Okay. And that thing misses. We 
Remember, we're still in the treasure room. I'll take that. Well, what's gonna take that? Sorry, I got another one of those big guys over there. Go. I got that. I'm going to torch him. Take that. We're gonna wait for that guy to follow us. No, we don't want the blue elixir. Give me these. Hey, where are you going? I think he's angry now. Oh, that was a good effort, man. But not good enough. Hey, that was actually pretty good. Eh? Huh. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back to right here, and I'm gonna cut the video right here. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with new content. And now we're going to get started on the next part. Thank you for watching. You guys and girls have a good day and peace out.